Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's get right into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of February 2020. Now you have the Page of Cups here. Gemini is feeling very amorous. Uh, some of you guys experiencing a lot of emotions. Um, but this is not necessarily a negative thing. This could just represent that you are putting or learning to put your emotions, um, which is a good thing, especially for Geminis. Now you have the Three of Cups here. The Three of Cups is symbolizing the energies uh, currently blocking you. So for some of you guys, it could represent feeling, feeling um, a bit uneasy. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with uh, gossip. Now... You do have the Knight of Wands here in the past and passing. So I do see for some of you guys, you could have started some type of relationship or some type of connection with someone. Um, and the energy was flowing very organically. There is a lot of communication. There was a lot of, uh, you know, feeling and vibing each other. Uh, but for some reason, uh, there was some type of stagnation of communication that recently happened. Uh, and you're currently very consumed wondering what happened. For some of you guys, it could have been that you became or they ghosted you. Now, you do have the moon card here. So I do see that you're very frustrated about the unknown or not knowing exactly what's happening behind the scenes. For some of you guys, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. For others, you may be dealing with a Cancer. I also see Earth here. So it could be Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo or Fire, Energy, Aries, uh, Leo, or Sagittarius um, but what they're telling you here is even though their communication hasn't been grand or it hasn't been progressing the way you would have wanted the Knight of Pentacles does promise um, being able to reconnect or being able to stabilize the situation now you do have the star card as well so this is see, uh, signifying being able to see light at the end of the tunnel uh, being able to uh, feel a little bit more, uh, you know, empowered or feel like you're getting more feedback. Let me pull out more cards just to see exactly what's going on here. All right. So for some of you guys, those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, I do see you guys putting a lot of effort and energy into trying to solidify your strength in the unionship. The blockage here, though, is for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a doubt or this is something you've been carrying for a very, very long time. And what's on your mind is a lot of ideas. It's kind of like when you have doubts and your mind runs wild. That's what they're showing me here with the star card. What they're telling you is if you're wanting to fortify and strengthen your relationship, you need to let go of those fears. You need to let go of things from the past. You can hold that against your partner if you're trying to move forward. And this also falls for those of you guys that argue and constantly throw in the face of your partner, uh, things they've done in the past, mistakes. Um, if you're wanting to basically uh, move forward in a positive way, you need to let go of all of this. You need to let go of those doubts. Um, only then will you be, a basically what they're telling you is judge them for their actions now, not from the past. Now, your advice card here is use your mind, Gemini. Uh, you guys do tend to be, um, very analytical when it comes to communication, when it comes to dealing and processing emotions. And that could be the reason why you're feeling like very uncertain because you guys have been experiencing a lot of emotions lately. Uh, with the page of cups. So again, what they're telling you here is in order, it's okay to feel all these crazy emotions, but try to sync that or find the balance in that with as well, using your mind, being practical. If you feel that there is doubts and your mind starts to wander or starts to go a thousand miles per hour, slow it down because wherever you're putting the most energy, that's where that's where your that's where your um, energy is going towards and therefore that's what ultimately will manifest so you got to let go of your fears you guys um, now you do have here the four of wands this is signifying to me finding the balance as well as 
uh, feeling stable in the relationship with the strength card you guys have overcame a lot of different obstacles have faith in each other basically what they're telling you here is if you want to again strengthen and fortify the relationship the only way to do this is to let go of past experiences or past traumatic events that has happened go and treat them from here on out go off of their actions now not from the past only then will you be able to not only stabilize the relationship but find the balance uh, there's a lot of healing that needs to happen not just with you but with people around you now for those of you guys that are currently single you may be dealing with family issues um, that have been traumatic in the past or perhaps very difficult for you to overcome and i see you guys extremely emotional and this is like pretty much driving you guys crazy uh, because it's all these emotions flowing and just not understanding why you're feeling a certain type of way maybe for some of you guys you're lashing out to friends and you don't know why and the reason for this is because you guys are extremely emotional it's okay to cry once in a while gemini it's okay to release that energy it's cleansing yourself and it's helping you heal through this process okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this reading like share and comment and we'll see each other soon bye